Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your July 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, so we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on here. So apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Capricorn people, not, uh, not Capricorn, Taurus people. So not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, uh, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about Taurus. Taurus. What's going on with Taurus and love? What's going on with Taurus and love? Over energies for Taurus regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for July 2023. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Taurus here. For Taurus. I'm going to take that. We have the Five of Pentacles here. And we have the Ten of Swords here. There was definitely a horrible ending here. Whoever this is, this, this is an individual that could have left you out in the cold, betrayed you here, okay? I do feel like definitely you're feeling lonely right now or that you are feeling lonely. Um, I mean, you could apply this to your own timeline here too. Uh, we have the Six of Cups here and the Three of Cups. I feel like someone here is definitely missing somebody. Some here is wanting a reconciliation. Perhaps it's your person that wants a reconciliation and you're not the one who wants a reconciliation. Maybe you were the one that dipped out on this person because this person has betrayed you so many times, okay? Uh, we got the world card here and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, one of the things I'm getting here, I do feel like you might be dealing with someone here that was non-committal. They have unfinished business here with you and they want to come back around, okay? But with the world card here, I feel like you're done with this person here, Taurus. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, yeah, you've learned your lessons from this situation here, and I feel like you just want to move on to new love. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like this person does have some deep regrets here, okay? I do feel like this person does see you as someone here who's incredibly nurturing, you know, someone here who's very stable here, someone here who's financially doing well. Whoever this is, yeah, this person's definitely, you're running from this individual. Look at that. Look how this Knight of Wands is chasing this Queen of Pentacles. Basically, you guys are not even facing each other here. So I just feel like you're completely done with this individual and what they want with you. I feel like they want to rekindle this connection here with you. They also want to apologize and make you an offer here. So Taurus, you're completely done with this individual here because, you know, I, I just feel like you view this person as somebody who's very toxic here. Yeah. Um, I don't know where you fit into this, but look at that. Queen to the... Uh, Queen to the King, uh, queen to the King of Pentacles here. This is a true pair, by the way. This is a soulmate connection here. So whoever this is, you could have been dealing with someone here, Taurus, that was really controlling, incredibly controlling here, okay? And I feel like maybe like when you figured them out, when you saw their mask drop, you know, that's when they ran away, like scared, like, oh, oh man, like Taurus figured me out, you know? So tell me about the person that uh, Taurus is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus for July 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy, and the Nine of Swords here. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person does deal with some sort of mental health situation here. You know, this person might deal with depression here. Maybe this person has a personality disorder. You know, I, 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 but whatever this is, I do feel like this is like, this is something that this person has struggled with for a very long time. Here's the thing. I don't even see this person getting any sort of help here. Okay. Ten of Pentacles here and the Ace of Pentacles. What this person wants is a new beginning here with you. Yeah. They want a new beginning here with you. The thing is, I feel like here... One of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like when you guys are great, you guys are really great. But then out of nowhere, this person just disappears. 
disappears for days, weeks at a time, and like they come back just like randomly. Um, uh, and I, I actually see this person doing it again with the two of pentacles here and the three of pentacles here. So what I'm getting here is I feel like this person's like not quite sure what they're looking for. Perhaps this person juggles you and stuff like that. I do feel like you guys are just not really on the same page here. Yeah, you guys are not on the same page here. Judgment for wands here. I do feel like this is an individual that's looking for a reconciliation. I do feel like this person does want to change here. Um, the problem is I'm not really seeing this person really taking any sort of initiative to actually improve their mental health here. The moon, the nine of wands here. This person has a lot of fear. This person has a lot of trauma here. This person has like severe anxiety issues here. The moon, Cancer, Pisces, Nine of Wands here, the moon, uh, the, the death card here, and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is you. You're just closing the door on this. You're just closing the door on this. You just rather be on your own, work on your own pentacles here. I do feel like they're definitely coming in with some sort of apology here, but it's almost like it's too late. What else do we have here? Tell, tell me the outcome and advice here for um, Taurus here. Outcome and advice here for Taurus regarding their love situation. What else does Taurus need to know, look out for, work on here? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for July 2023. The Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Page of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Lovers here and the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, I see you moving towards new love i see you just taking care of yourself and just you know really nurturing yourself here and showing yourself self-love here page of cups in a chariot this is an individual taurus that can't move on from you i mean they're definitely going to try really hard i feel like they would try and like rip tear off the roof and like you know raise some hell here in order for them in order for you to accept them back but it seems like you know better here, okay? You know better not to play the games with this individual. The High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Five of Swords here with the Magician and the Lovers here, you're definitely manifesting new love, okay? You're definitely off manifesting on your own here, leaving this behind. Uh, with the Fool card, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, and I just feel like you're just focusing on your healing here. Whoever this is, I just feel like this person cannot stop thinking about you. Yeah, you've had enough with this individual with the Queen of Swords here. Yeah, I, so I, I just feel like you, you know, you're just completely done with this individual because I feel like you've been through a lot with this person here, Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.